Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play as the Ironclad Ascension level 17. Cause F the Watcher, the Watcher sucks. Choose a card, 7 HP, or lose 7 HP for transformation. Honestly... Honestly, I don't know. Transforming a strike in a defend could lead you with great cards added to your deck. But, but plus seven max HP gives you a lot of capability to make mistakes because it's a 14 HP shift. Would I would I add a strike and a defend for 14 HP? Early, yeah, late, I don't know. What's the path that we like here? Kind of like this path, but we only fight two elites, but we do get a shop here. If we go the right path, we can fight three but it's tough. I'm gonna go for the transformation. We've got a dual wield sword boomerang. So if we can add in strength, that sword boomerang is gonna be fantastic. But as is, I think this is a pretty, pretty bad get because the cards are, they're not unplayable, but they're not very useful. You'll get hit by one of these. I should've just double strike you though, that would've been a lot better. <laughs> As is, yeah, these, the cards that we got are, are not very useful at all. It's not like we have a free attack that can be doubled with dual wield. It's not like we got powers that can be doubled or anything like that. It's just like, hey, eventually it'll be good later in the run. Well, I mean, we're gonna take another 15 damage. Almost killed you. Pretty bad luck, but we only have three defends in the deck now, so I suppose it's not that surprising if we don't draw them. Oh hey, another dual wield. I don't even want Sentinel. Uh, it's 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 just a defend. I don't want to defend in this deck. In this deck. You should be dead next turn. But we will need to add in um better blocks at some point. Eh, we got a skill potion. With a skill potion, maybe we could just live for another, like, floor without blocks. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna take my gold back. We still have 44 HP, which is pretty good. We're down to one defend <laughs> in the draw pile. <laughs> but at least we got this. Maybe a dual wield, like a sword boomerang or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem good. Also, this freaking enemy seems horrible. Sure. Take me to 18 block. Two enemies at 17. We would need strength. Oh, dude, we don't need anything. I was gonna say we need strength and a whirlwind to kill him, but if we draw a bash every turn, that'll do it. Okay, we had to use a potion, but that didn't end up going too badly, and we got a potion back. Clothesline, fire breathing, heavy blade. Fire breathing makes good good work of the sentinels, of hexaghost, of the slime. You can add statuses and curses to your deck now. You can get free damage out of them. It's not bad. I'm gonna take it. And if we ever fight the sentinels, we're gonna be happy to have it. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't want to play it next turn because of the strength, but I kind of wish I did now. That was, uh, that was, that was not good. Yeah, that's, that's not, it's not fantastic. That's, that's not even good enough because we need three strikes. A bash strike doesn't do it. Oh, we got three strikes. Well, we're alive at least. We got that going for us. We'll rest, we'll fight another elite, see what happens. Eh, okay. If we live, we're in the clear. We just have to play fire breathing and then every block, every turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
I guess that was our only block remaining, so it makes sense. Have to play it. Now draw five dazes, please. Drew one. Which means we're still gonna be hit for 10 because I can't actually kill you. That's hilarious. No, I can actually, I can do 14 damage. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter? I mean, I guess I should have killed you, I guess, but I don't know. You're dead anyways. <laughs> well, there's the power of fire breathing when you actually do draw the statuses. Shockwave. Has to be added at this point. Bag of marbles. Helps. Take seven. Hit you for six, I'll take one damage. I don't know if we can fight, oh, we have to fight the next elite. <laughs> okay, um, how did, where did we get 325 gold from? I guess we, we took the gold, didn't we? By the way, we're dead. Uh, by the way, we're still dead. We're still dead. Um, we, we picked up the gold when I interacted with the goo. I lost 11 HP for like 75 gold, I think. It still feels like we had a lot of gold. Where did it, where did it come from? I feel like we had too much gold there. Okay. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. We can get one free elite. We cannot get two. Well, we might be able to get one free elite. So I think we're gonna try to go for this elite. Although it's the only elite. Oh man. Why are there only like five elites on the screen? Well, if we get lucky, we can go this path and get this free elite, which then leads into maybe two more. So we'll try that. Good question marks that lower my HP would also be nice so that we can take advantage of the healing. I will take a shrug it off. I will, will upgrade a bash. We are gonna get free elites. I will remove a card. I don't wanna go to the shop though, I'm dumb. We'll still do it like this though, but I'm gonna have no money. So, you know. Ah, uh, we'll look to see what we're missing out on. Oh no, there's Toxic Egg. <laughs> Damn it. Toxic Egg is never gonna show up ever again now. Give me a Pommel Strike, just, just for offense. I'm not the biggest fan, but we need something. Okay, we didn't get the question marks we wanted, but that's okay, we at least killed a boss. Flex Clothesline Sword Boomerang, give me a Clothesline. One upgraded clothesline, one upgraded bash. Why not? It's a it's a good start to a deck. Remove a card. Remove a strike. Keep it balanced. I'm not a big fan of letter opener as the ironclad, I think. Take four damage. Much better than last time around when we were taking like 20 damage on this combat. You know, we actually have the capability of putting up blocks now that we've got another shrug in the deck and we can do more status effects too. I like this, I like this a lot better. Block and Tropic Brew, we'll keep those. Immolate is insanely good. Lagavulin has more HP. Wake up. Fight me, fight me bro. Play the top three cards of your draw pile. I would like a bash defend strike, yes please. That worked out extremely well, extraordinarily well. I'm even playing a defend instead of attacking when he's vulnerable, like why not? I mean, he's dead. That was, that was the burning elite too. We did use some pretty good freaking potions, but it was uh, it was probably worth it. I'll take a thunderclap. Thunderclap immolates a good combination. Aw, oh, crap. 
I can't get, I can't give you my immolate again, or my rare card. <laughs> we can purge a strike at least. We can't get rid of immolate. We cannot get rid of immolate. The damage is just far too good. Even the Gremlin Knob, I'm like, you're you're gonna die. We got a lot of energy on that turn for some reason. Ancient T set. You're gonna do 12 and then you're gonna die. This is a good run. This is a very like offensive run, which I enjoy. And if we can just fill up the, the deck with good shrugs, flame barriers, and then next floor maybe get like a um, an energy relic, so we can play two of these expensive cards every turn. We're gonna be loving life. Now we're probably not gonna draw emulate, but if we do, that would be fantastic. Nah. All right, I'll hit you for twenty-one. Now draw Immolate again. Draw Immolate. It's fine. Yeah, you don't need to draw it now. We'll just save it for next turn. We are going to be weak, though. Thunderclap Immolate? Ah! Thunderclap Immolate is definitely the dream. We need a headbutt. We need a headbutt to bring back the Immolate. Dude, this fight sucks. <laughs> when you're down to defends and strikes, you're like, oh, just kill me. But when you can actually play the Immolate. I mean, a thunder a thunderclap clothesline gets a kill, but a shrug blocks the same amount of damage. Right now, how much are they doing? 34 damage. Okay, so we're gonna die. No, I can... I can cause you to to stop attacking. And then if we draw Immolate, they're all dead. Oh, now there's four of them, which is a little scary. Oh, let's go. Easy, what, what was I worried about? Feed Reaper Exhum, ah oh, crap. We, you gotta go Reaper. Reaper strength deck? I mean, we have no like multi-hitting cards, but Reaper is wonderful, as is Feed. You know, give me the feed. We, we do a lot of... We do a lot of Reaper healing strength. What about feed and then just stacking up max HP until we get like 100? I hope that'll work. Okay, any path we choose, we can only fight two elites at max. So I think we fight two elites. If we take this path, we can spread them out, which I think is for the best. Are we gonna do a shop? Um, let's go to this shop. So let's let's avoid the early shop. We'll take so hopefully some easier combats initially. You've hexed me. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Goodbye, feed. I'll see you next combat. Although... Although... You know, I'm... I'm willing to go deep to try to get a feed out of this, I think. You know... You live for another turn, Chosen. I need to upgrade this feed so we get more HP out of it whenever we use it. Disarm Uppercut Anger. We apply weak and vulnerable. What we don't do is disarm yet, so let's grab that disarm. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> Why does it gotta be you, birds? I can knock one down at least. Do we need an attack potion? Not on this turn. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, you know what? We have to hit him four times to knock him down. Forgot about that. Let's take a cleave. Immolate. 
Yeah, I forgot that they, uh, on Ascension 17, they get stronger. They're harder to knock down. Four damage. Well, that just kills you. Let me take 14. It's as good as it gets, unfortunately. Probably could have killed you, but am I waiting for a feed? No, I've already played it, okay. I don't know why I think I would have to wait for that. What's weird about this, I guess it's not weird, but what's cool about this is that we actually have a good deck for all of the elites on this floor. Are you kidding me? Uh, we'll just have to heal later. Uh, we have ways of dealing with the wide elites with Immolate and with the Book of Stabbing with Disarm. A to remove a strike. I think we'll probably rest first, then do all of this. What I'd really like is like some additional energy and draw on turn one. We're just constantly drawing nothing good. Maybe I can make the Mystic heal. That doesn't kill Ma Bank. Nope. The only thing that kills Ma Bank is uh, shop purchases, of which that is not one. Oh my God. Dear Nunu, thank you for the resub for five months. Hello, they say. Um, hello to you too. Hello. Hello. Oh, we uh, shuffled, so feed isn't in there anymore. Oh no, now it's gonna be in the discard pile. Oh well. Goodbye, feed. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Don't just don't draw feed again. I need it next turn. Thirty-six HP. Actually, can I even kill you? Fifteen, twenty-one. Yeah, we got you. 89 max HP. If we if we save the blood potion, eventually it'll get us more healing because we have more HP. That's what I'm thinking about it right now. Okay, so we need immolate basically every turn, every turn. All turns every turn, please. If we don't, we at least can kill you. Next turn. And honestly, with the liquid memories, if this was the other fight, then we could immolate, Liquid Memories immolate. This fight, I, I don't think we can really do that. Nine damage, just hit him. Immolate? No immolate. We should draw it next turn. I worry about him. We could just clothesline him. You're gonna give everyone armor, but I think the Mad Gremlin should still die. I mean, it's only six armor. So Immolate still kills him. This will draw a Bash Pommel. No blocks. Would Immolate Immolate kill? Would a Bash Immolate Immolate kill? I think it would. Vulnerable, 42-42. That's 80, 84 damage plus 10. Oh my God, it's barely enough, <laughs> but it is enough. So bash, immolate, liquid memories, immolate. This is the turn. We got a potion back, which is beautiful. Flex, charge, pummel. None of that really matters at all, I think. So we'll skip. <sighs> Probably clothesline, shrug, shrug. Dernuda says, I love to transform cards. I so often get amazing rare cards out of it. Yeah, and then sometimes you get like Claw and I don't know, Turbo. <laughs> and you're like, oh, thanks. If I drew a disarm, that would be better, but this is still perfectly fine. We're holding our own so far. 
There's a disarm, but I think you gotta do this. You might not die next turn, but I've got a potion I can toss out there if I have to. Six damage. You'll take three and gain armor. I, ha I have to use a potion to kill you. I'm fine with that. True Grit Flex Dark Embrace Clothesline. A an upgraded True Grit is beautiful. Let's go to the shop. Take Fart of War. Tungsten Rod is good. Oh man. There's, there's actually a lot of stuff here I like. Power through, double tap, tungsten rod, toolbox. There's some good cards here. I, I, th I think we gotta buy cards, not tungsten rod, because double tap, power through, and card removal is so valuable. If we can make True Grit exhaust the wounds, then it's insanely good block value. Uh, Gladair says, I hate transform because I feel like it gives me wound in a mask 70% of the time. Darnunu asks, what is wound in a mask? <laughs> Card that isn't wound but might as well be because it's unplayable. That's fair. Like anger. Man, if only we had like 800 more gold we could buy the shop out, but no, I think we need, I think we need double tap, I think we need power through. And I think we need removal. <laughs> Tungsten Rod is good. I think these are better choices. We could even get Toolbox to get a, you know, a chosen colorless card. Pure uh, Discovery, Dramatic Entrance. Good cards. I'll take a free, dis oh, it's not free. You just have it in your hand. I forgot about that. I gotta remember, it's it's not free, because most of most of the like potions and relics that give you a card, it's free. Except in this situation, it's not free. You gotta remember that. Oh no, it's not free. Danuna says, "I like Rupture Ironclad." There's something the matter with you if you like Rupture Ironclad. I think Rupture Ironclad is pretty trash. But maybe that's just me. Uh, this'll kill you, which I'd rather not have happen, because I want to feed you. 21. 27 times 2. 15. 30. I'm gonna run the risk of you living for, for a little bit longer. I'm glad I did run the risk. 92 HP. Havoc Cleave. We have AoE, Immolate Thunderclap. Havoc, don't need it. Warcry, don't need it. Thunder, or uh, Clothesline, don't need it. I'm gonna keep upgrading. Double tap first, prop. Uh, we should have maybe done the other one, the... Uh, yeah. The... Um, it's in our hand. True Grit, that's the one. We have a lot of energy, so Shrug. <laughs> Give me a... Pommel, thinking ahead. No, no, we, we need to, we need to shrug, and we got it. The other option there was, we hit our limit by the way, the Velvet Choker. The other option was maybe try to get a Thunderclap, try to get a feed. That was an insanely good elite fight. We got the Courier, which is nice. And dual wield. The problem with dual wield is that there's no powers to duplicate and no attacks worth duplicating. I, I think this is another skip. So we're gonna skip again. Doing 27 damage. I mean, you just gotta. <laughs> Oh, you just gotta! No, you don't gotta. You can shrug and then immolate once. 
yes, you're still taking, you know, 12 damage, but at least you're not taking, you know, 19 damage. And now we've got the upper hand on him. So we can probably get a feed out of this. Rupture is better than Demon Form says Ogrim. I don't think I agree with you on that one. Look at this wound hand. Okay, well, hold up. Oh, if we play Battle Trance, we'll shuffle. But we still got him. 98 max HP. Oh man, we're I'm hitting the limit to Velvet Choker and then not realizing I'm hitting the limit. I gotta be careful about that. Okay, what do we upgrade? True Grit definitely needs to be upgraded. And now we're fighting Bronze Automatomatomaton. Skills that cost zero. Debuff take damage. At the start of turn, add a random colorless card into your hand. Why not? Because it's a bad play. Well, why not else? <laughs> Discovery, that's a good one. Immolate is also freaking beautiful. Double tap Immolate is also freaking beautiful. So they're all dead. Oh, you're not dead. Ah, you're close. 12 block. More than, more than good enough. Dude, double tap, thunderclap. Hit him at the clothesline. I could have hit him at the bash, but I think I prefer the clothesline. Three, four, five. That's a good turn. Hopefully we'll get, hopefully we'll get bash soon again. We did. Corruption, oh man. <laughs> it costs zero this turn, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, that's that's an interesting play. We get value out of the blocks because they, get, they exhaust. And we get skills every few turns, so sure, give me skills that cost zero. Those are good skills. This is a, this, this has turned into a corruption deck with like one card that was added. I mean, you might as well do that because it makes it cheaper. I can only play six cards per turn, and then True Grit didn't play. Or sorry, uh, Hand of Greed didn't play. That's funny. Okay, so there's that done. Four. Give me a five. Give me a six. We got him. It's just gonna take a minute. I didn't put a card on top of my draw pile? Like, <laughs> was it, wasn't that supposed to be what happened there? I'm confused. Dark Shackles, Impatience. If you have no attacks, draw two. <sighs> Let's dump those cards. I want to try to get defeat on him, but I want to get him low enough that I can kill him. Put an attack from your draw pile into your hand. <sighs> okay, immolate's gonna be our backup. Can we feed or do we have to immolate? <laughs> I like the feed so far, it's been a good card. Screw the fire potion, I like the, the blood potions. Now what do we take? Bludgeon, Barricade, Limit Break, Berserk. Do we take anything? <laughs> if we take anything. Barricade is nice to roll over block. We do have turns where we generate a lot of block. Bludgeon is good damage, but we have great damage output. 
We have no strength gain at all. Um, I think this is a barricade. We can upgrade it to make it cheaper. This might also be a runic, because then you can uh, double tap the correct cards. Yeah, I think this is a runic. Our, our deck is actually pretty lean to be able to hold on to good cards after a bad turn one draw. Seems like the way to go. We've already fought the elite, good. So we could fight a few elites if we want. There is an elite skip here. I, I like this path though. You fight one, optionally two, but there's not a lot of rests there for upgrades. And I do want to upgrade uh, Barricade. Obviously, like Disarm, Feel No Pain, Power Through, Shrug It Off. We could take this route. We could just go the left path. Two elites, one, two, three rests and then a fourth rest at the end. That seems like a great path. There's one, two question marks, but lots of combat. We can add in some better cards. Let's go far left. Runic Choker is overwhelming. Not really. I mean, if you play six cards, that's six cards from your hand, and then you draw five. So technically speaking, as long as you have no uh, draw, you'll be ending you, you, you won't have cards that you're drawing. Does this make sense? I'm not making any sense, am I? That's okay though, Dad. Now the wounds are definitely annoying, but I think we'll just accept it. We're gonna give it a shot anyways, we'll see what happens. Double tap is funny because it will cost a lot of Velvet Choker, so it's like double tap, one, two, three, Four, five, six. Do we have the energy for that? Nope. We can get close though. Feel no pain, disarm for three block and two block, which is five block. Double tap, bash, 10, 15. I wanna save feed? I think we just accept that this is a bad turn. better. 87. True Grit Disarm Heavy Blade Armaments. Uh, another True Grit seems pretty good. We gotta upgrade it though. Panacea Master of Strategy Mayhem. I don't really want to Mayhem with a Thorny Boy. We don't really need the draw, it seems like. Panacea, what would it, what would it prevent? Nothing. So I guess we'll take a Master of Strategy. Give us a little bit of draw. Get one more card. Sure. You know, we should play power through here so that we um, discard the uh, the wounds, at least most of the wounds. Wait, and then uh, if we Thunderclap Immolate, they're all dying. Yeah, exactly. And we have enough energy to make it happen. I'd like to try to get feed. So we could do like power through, thunderclap, feed, defend. It's a little, it's a lot slower, but at least it um, means that maybe we can kill the spiker in the future. Or sorry, it means that we can at least, uh, you know, get that feed out there. We have 108 HP, We've got great health. And great block right now with that, that barricade, so I'm not really worried about this at all. You know, draw as many dazes as you, as you want to give me, friends. Friends? Lots of un unupgraded car cards. Armaments runic. 
I guess an armaments would hit a lot of cards, so in theory that could be a good addition. Didn't think about that, but I'm also just not a big fan of armaments. If it shows up again, maybe I'll grab it. Iron Wave, True Grit, Intimidate, Reckless Charge. Uh, it, it, honestly, I'm gonna add True Grits and I'm gonna constantly, constantly, constantly upgrade them. I'm gonna take the bomb. We're gonna wait for a double tap immolate or double tap thunderclap immolate. And then we're just gonna block. Two, three. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna take eight damage, but that's, this is intentional. This is also intentional. We're, we're doing this for the, oh, the bomb! <laughs> we're doing this for the relic and we got Tori, so I'm extremely happy about that. That worked out wonderfully. Give me a discovery. <laughs> no, the bomb. We could have we could have fed, but the bomb did save us like 26 HP, so I, I'm really okay with that. Yeah. This is a bit of a more awkward fight than we're probably used to. I really wish I could have played armaments there, but I didn't draw it fast enough. I do have five energy, though. I'm gonna take zero damage, and we, we got Barricade out there on that turn, which is nice. Now. Twenty-one damage. We did exhaust feed. That's fine. I'm not worried about feed on the writhing mask. Mass, AKA Spaghetti Monster, AKA All Hail. Cause this guy sucks. Honestly, like, what if I just play a whole bunch of blocks? No, we can't eat the, the spaghetti, says Ogrim. Well. Maybe not. Maybe you can. I really don't want you to add a curse to my deck. You're you're vulnerable, now I can immolate you. I'm I'm honestly okay with this. Exhausted clothesline, that's fine. Fifteen damage. We're adding a lot of we're adding a lot of burns, but I still don't mind it. Should have played Battle Trance. It's just clogging. Now you're gonna run out of block. My hand is full. Oh, no, no wonder, huh? Fourteen damage. Again, just gonna, just gonna chill. This is a bit of an awkward fight, admittedly, but we're we're getting there. We've got double tap immolate coming up. If we've got double tap immolate coming up, then we just need to make space in hand. Our deck is getting mighty thin, but it is filled with burn still. All right, that that went totally fine. I'll take an impervious. Do we want a dex potion? Um, this heals 20 HP. You know what? Let's use one because it's it's almost it overheals us by three. 
you know, that's fine. It's fine. We don't need Chrysalis. All we need is double tap Immolate. What skill would we want? Battle Trance? Burr, 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 burr. Actually, double tap immolate kind of is kind of dangerous here because of the spiker. But it does kill the guardian. So what we need to do does not kill the guardian because he's not vulnerable. But it does do. 56 damage, which is pretty good. I think what we need to do is just block. We take 10. But we can kill the, kill the Guardian, and if we can draw Feed, then we can get the kill with Feed. We might need to play Impervious. Okay, we'll play Impervious. Still. We did get the feed. So we're at 111 max HP. That's pretty decent. Dude, you know what? Elixir to get rid of garbage. Strikes, defends, and wounds does seem pretty good. But once we upgrade True Grits, we can target these cards specifically. So I actually don't think we need Elixir. I don't think we need Evolve. Shockwave is pretty good. We... We only have two cards that apply status effects. Another one is decent. Yeah, I don't think we need Evolve because we have Runic Pyramid. Whirlwind is good, but we have AoE. I think Shockwave is the best one there. And now we just start upgrading these True Grits. Big giant head. Not that worried. Debuff, take more damage. Draw two, put an attack from the draw pile into your hand. Um... We don't really need any of these, so I'm just going to do it like this. I was kind of hoping, though, that um, the slow would count as a debuff, but unfortunately it doesn't. <laughs> that would be pretty sick, though. So, one, two, three, four. Energy. Strike first. Or just, like, shrug first. Or true grit first. Then double tap. Thunderclap. Immolate. Did like 140 damage. It's pretty good. Um, I, I, I wonder if Barricade's not worth it here. We just probably need to hit fast and hit hard. Hmm, but we're, we're doing damage pretty slowly. But we can put up a, a decent amount of block, but now we're on one. Oh crap. This, this makes me kind of scared. Especially because we're also weak. It does make me kind of scared, but we're rolling over 50 block. So now maybe we can, you know, actually toss out some attacks. Like, can we draw a double tap? We'll have it next turn. So what if we, um... Thunderclap, strike, bash. Ooh, this is, uh... <laughs> looking a little, uh, little spicy. Thirty-seven. Rolling over block. We double tap immolate. We're gonna take some damage though. It's not really a better time to do it. How come sometimes we get energy? Ah, Art of War. That's why we sometimes get energy. 
Okay, um, 42 damage, we can increase it. We can do like 100 damage this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's pretty good. Still taking damage. Yeah, we get it. Lost Thunderclap, who cares? I know this is kind of slow, but we gotta gotta draw our good attacks now. <laughs> okay, just gotta draw our good attacks now. Good good attacks. We we've got some of those, I think. That was not clothesline, you idiot! That was Bash! <laughs> I played the wrong card! <laughs> I played the wrong card! Oh crap. He's got 5 HP. I played the wrong card. Screw you, head. We- oh my god. If we have- if you have strength, this guy is easy. If you- I can't block for 60 every turn, game. You piece of garbage. That was a fun run. I really enjoyed that one. We just- we came across the enemy that- that is the worst for us. It- The giant head, you- you just- how do you do 500 damage? How do I how do I fight that guy and live? That's how I that's how this feels because you just oh my god, I played the wrong card. Oh, end me.